It's Sammy's birthday today. Yay! He turns four and he's very sleepy. I can't believe he turns four already. I mean, it seems like yesterday he turned one and he was barely three and now he's already four. Unbelievable how time flies. I still see him as a puppy and I think I always will. I mean, even when he's 14, I'll still see him as my baby. <laughs> Here's a photo from Sammy's first birthday. He was so crazy about apples that his birthday cake was an actual apple. You couldn't take a bite out of an apple anywhere in the house because he'd hear you and come running to get a piece too. After that, we spent his second and third birthdays traveling, so he never had a proper birthday cake. I had to improvise and I got him wet dog food for a cake, which don't get me wrong, he absolutely loved because I never give him wet food, so it was quite special. However, this year we're spending his birthday at home, so I decided to try something new. So this year I'm baking Sammy a dog cake. <laughs> I'm not a baker, I, I don't usually, I never bake actually, but um, I asked some Westie dog parents in our community and they sent me a lot of recipes for dog cakes, so today I'm gonna try um, one of them. I got super obsessed with this dog birthday cake that I think is just adorable. I love the color, I love the, the whole design, so I want to try it today. I'm gonna put the link for you in the description in case you want to get inspired as well. So let's get to it! Okay, so the original recipe uh, mentions um, cake batter as a base, so instead I'm just gonna combine some stuff from other recipes that I saw for dog cakes. It's essentially all of them have pretty much the same ingredients which is flour, pumpkin, applesauce, uh, peanut butter, eggs and a little bit of honey. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay so I need some pumpkin puree which I don't have but I do have actual pumpkin and I'm just gonna cook it and mash it. Um, unsweetened applesauce, which I have here, I found it in the baby's aisle and it's actually just natural 100% apple puree. <laughs> then we have some smooth natural peanut butter that shouldn't have any um, sweeteners, any xylitol, which is toxic for dogs as you probably know. I'm using this one, it's 100% peanuts and nothing else added. Let's see what else. So two large eggs, a little bit of honey and a little baking soda, which I have right here. I'm just gonna put a little bit to make it be fluffy. This is my cooked pumpkin. Is it supposed to be this runny? Look at it, it's liquid. I think I did something wrong. I think I should add more flour. Okay, so I just realized what I did wrong. So the recipe said one and a half cups of flour and I added half a cup. So that makes more sense. Can you tell that I don't normally bake? Okay, so I'm supposed to preheat the oven to 350 Fahrenheit. How much is that? 350 Fahrenheit in Celsius. <sighs> okay, we have results. So I bought these two little baking things because I didn't know which one I was gonna use. I think I'm just gonna start uh, with the small one and if I have enough, 
I'll just put it in both and whatever is left I'm gonna freeze it and give it to Sami later. Okay, so now we're gonna do the frosting, which is some boiled potatoes mixed with Greek yogurt that I've got right here, no sugar added. won't come out. Come on. I forgot to grease the pan. So now it's stuck and won't come out. Okay, so this was the best I could do on the collar. It's not exactly the turquoise that they had in the video, but it will do. I googled cornstarch and it says that in very small quantities it's fine. Um, and it's safe for dogs and since I put just a little bit and Sami's not gonna eat the whole cake, it should be just fine. This is the best that I could do. It's just sad. <laughs> just look at it. Do you think this looks anything like this? It's like, no. Okay. <laughs> he 
likes it. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> Okay. You're getting seconds. Okay. Okay, so now it's time to do the gifts. Sami got a lot of cool gifts this year. So the first gift and the most obvious is his cute birthday bandana that we made for him and it's gonna be available in our shop uh, starting today actually. You're gonna find the link in the description. Um, it's a really cute bandana and it's not just for birthdays. I'm gonna show you uh, the other side of it. So this is the other side, it's with animal balloons and it's my favorite. This is super festive, they can wear it anytime, not just on their birthdays. The next two gifts are more for me than for him. So this one is something that I've been meaning to get for a while. It's a treat pouch and it has this cute little thing here and you just put it like this put treats in it. It's made of silicone so it doesn't get greasy and dirty from the treats and it's a really cute color. So everything I'm showing you today I ordered from Amazon and I'm gonna put the links in the description in case you are getting inspired and you want to get these things as well. So the next gift that I got myself uh, for Sami's birthday this huge pack of wet wipes. These are my favorite wet wipes. I use them all the time to clean Sami. I already opened this pack. It's 12 packs of um, 20 wipes each. They have uh, no fragrance and they clean really well. Yay. And now for your presents. Let's see what I got for you. So oh, first I got the set of two licking mats. They look like this and they come with a little spatula so you can um, put some, some things for them to lick. And I'm not gonna open it now because he's already had cake and you know, I don't wanna um, give him too much to eat. But for sure I'm gonna use this really soon. I'm gonna spread some yogurt and peanut butter on it. I think leaking mats and food puzzles are a great idea if you want to keep your dog busy, uh, you know, in case they, they're bored and they need some activity to stimulate them. This is great. And now it's time for the cool stuff. This is the first toy. <laughs> He's already interested. He loves stuffed toys. These are his favorite kind of toys and he can never get enough of them, as you can see. <laughs> Let me show you. Ooh. You like it? Let me, let me take this off. Wait. Sammy, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Let it go, let it go, let it go. So this is what we do every evening and sometimes during the day too. This is favorite game, playing tug of war with stuffed toys. And that's why they last so little. The average life for this kind of toy is probably around a month max. We've got more of these. Let's open the next one. Okay, so the next gift is also some sort of stuffed toys. It's a set of three of these things, like squirrels and, I don't know, raccoons. Um, everybody's, you know, uh, giving great reviews. I've seen them for a long time and I never got these for him. So they're not stuffed, they're pretty much just the skin. I don't know if he's gonna like them. Sammy! Look! Here it is! Here it is! What's up with these? Oh, he doesn't like them because they're not stuffed. Sammy! As long as it squeaks, you know, it's, it's good. It's good enough. Yeah, okay, so this is definitely the winner. Okay, so now for the coolest gift of all. Are you ready? This is an agility set that I got for Sami because um, I kind of get the feeling lately that he's not getting enough exercise and sometimes he doesn't sleep well because he's got so much energy and also he's a very picky eater and I noticed that on the days that we go to training school or he stays the day there and he plays with dogs and runs I noticed that he eats his whole bowl of food on normal days like when we just go for a few walks he's super picky, he won't eat, it's a whole thing so I thought that it would be a good idea to get him to do more exercise and consume more energy. I'm so excited about this. Let's open it. What do we have here? Hmm? He's so curious. So I like that it comes in this bag. Okay, so you know what? Let's just take this outside and just unbox it there. I just figured out that you can actually fill these with water or sand or whatever and they're going to be a lot more stable.
I hope you enjoyed Sami's birthday. Uh, he had a lot of fun and so did I. And I'm glad that you got to be a part of it. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to support our channel even further, you can now join our Patreon. Um, it's patreon.com slash westyvibes and the link is also in the description. Thank you and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye! Ooh. Ooh.